I would have clicked on it. I didn't even click on it. I didn't. And I had the. If I see no, it, now I'm like, maybe I should. I don't know anything about him. So I should have clicked on it. It's going to be an educational experience. Yeah. I would have clicked on it because I'm just the morbid curiosity. If there's spikes on it, it's like. Morbid? Why the fuck is it morbid? Because there's usually spikes on that fucking dildo. Oh, it's not meant to go in. Oh, Some of those dildos are not <laughs> manageable. Actually, <laughs> Wait, no, no. Let him finish his sentence. I feel like she what? Feel like she, say it. Feel say like it. she. She's talking about you. She's talking, she's talking to you. No, you, you had a thought, a thought that you did not Your finish. face is, that you were giving him feels like she knows more than you. <laughs> about dragon dildos. Is, yes, yeah. uh, specifically about dragon dildos. But do you know more about our guest who's joining us for episode nine of our podcast? Surely we're not live. Recording this. Surely we're not yeah, live. Who does All of it was recorded. Me, actually, let's have a competition. Who's my best friend? Who oh, knows the okay, most? wait. I know the most. You no, I know the most. <laughs> what do you know? I know the most. Probably I know that me. he can can we talk about where you grew up? Sure. <gasps> what? Okay. I think most of the things I've told Flowers have been when we were both really drunk though, so I don't know if that yeah. stayed in. That probably didn't stay in it's your head. In there. Well, I mean <laughs> if I I'm sure if I got drunk I could remember all of it. Because you know that's how it works. Your brain remembers. I, I think our my biggest stages. heart to heart where I revealed the story was when Zyrene was still here and it was after we were around that party and then you guys also just popped some gummies and so you were drunk and high. Yes. And you, there's no way you remember. Cosmic Voyagers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're, it's gone for so you. So Flowers is out. <laughs> I'm out, bro. Does anyone else get a little gay when you get really drunk? You, you, not yeah. gay. Not gay. <laughs> not gay? But the topic starts Raz turning tells gay. us about <laughs> The <ga> topic <laughs> starts Raz, turning gay? If Raz has super blunt he will tell you about his favorite childhood anime that turned into gay porn 15 years later <laughs> that is like i will say that it wasn't my favorite childhood anime but it was my favorite horror anime higurashi oh yeah. it had an ova that was just straight up the most like gay fan service and i was watching it with my gay what friend part was gay huh? what, what part was gay i forgot what do you mean what part there was a part <laughs> which between which characters <laughs> Uh, so dude, dude, she's baiting you. This is the oh no, don't. That sounds look, horrible. I where legitimately would I find don't that? know. So <laughs> in this it's a OVA, anime. there was a specific portion of it where the main character, who's the confused guy, and everyone's like a killer around him. Uh, spoiler alert. Um, and he is like with a male friend. <gasps> oh yeah. And he, that male friend was in a maid <laughs> outfit. That's all it takes. And then, oh, that's all it takes. That was He's it. with a male friend. Yes. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. There was cream and like <laughs> sharing a spoon. There was something like that. It's so long ago that yeah, I've you repressed. You do a lot it. with that, actually. Yeah. There it is. Good luck. There we go. <laughs> so I know Avali enjoys the hell out of that, but that was you didn't watch the. Did you watch the OVA? I did not because Higurashi. It was a horror anime. Yes. And there is like really fucked up stuff. A lot of gore. Really messed How up. How old stuff. were you when this was your favorite anime? I was in high school for sure. Mm -hmm. So I don't know the age, but that was back in the day when I was like a big. St I was like playing a lot of Team Fortress Two, <gasps> like. I remember the, that period. So I don't know why. I wasn't high back then because I was straight edge, religious family. If I did anything, that'd is be a problem. Is she doing this because she wants to talk? Yeah, or she's is doing the hand gonna, signal. Oh, no, I just do. Type of <laughs> no, this is like a fuck you, Raz. <laughs> But, but yes, <laughs> it was slowly Fuck uncurling. It was like Fuck I'm boom. trying to. I'm trying to remember. Like, oh, look what I found here. <laughs> like, how much can we show before getting demonetized on YouTube? I forgot. So that's why it's just the slow. Oh, whoops. We gotta blur those out. Well, yeah. 15 seconds in a video, 15, apparently. Exactly. Enough. So I think yeah. we're we're totally. Wait, really? Is that, that what it is? It's, it's, 15, it's 15, yeah. 15. It used to be 60 seconds. How many cumulative seconds so wait, did wait, we just on. acquire right One. now? Oh, we're good. Two. <laughs> we no. already did. No. We already did a lot. It's the Four. first 15 seconds of the Five. video that if you say something like that in the 15 seconds, you get demonetized. Oh, yeah. so I can just hold this here for the whole rest of the episode. You can. Okay. Well, they you know, <laughs> they can also just use that shot instead. Of <laughs> that's, true, that's true. Please, please don't. I hate, I hate to do that to you. Oh, yeah. We have producer Ian. Hello. There's what producer up, Ian. 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 Nice we, to meet you. We still have to introduce Kobe, though. Yeah, we, we actually didn't I've got. That. I feel like I have more of yeah. the backstory, but you guys feel no. like you've got more. No, you go. Okay. I got none. Let's talk about Sam Kobe Hartman Kensler. All right. He was born in Northern California. Correct already. Well, in the big, one. Big, not only in the Bay Area, but in Oakland. True. You, li you were born that's in two. Oakland? Yeah. <laughs> the goddamn. <laughs> he grew up as a fucking nerd and went to. <laughs> also true. And went to UC Berkeley. 
No. Fuck. Bang. You, you, was I grew up in Berkeley. You grew I up went, in Berkeley. I could not stay at home, so I left. I went to Cal Poly in San Francisco. Cal- okay. He went to Cal I moved Poly halfway slow. halfway down the state and then all the way down the state. I know, right? Down, yeah. That's I what I did. I keep progressively too. moving to warmer and warmer weather. Well, in a few years, I'll be seeing you in Mexico. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> yeah, peace. <laughs> Esports clans in like Mexico. Yeah, how's that Latam? Doing Looking pretty good. Jose Diodo's chilling there. That? Yeah. <laughs> what? I think first place is Jose Diodo and um, uh, Takeover. Oh, yeah. So I have an in. Jose yeah, exactly. got me. Exactly. Okay. You're just in there. Uh, and then you got stabbed. Okay. Oh. That was. You got. St- oh, you that did was say before, this. though. You got before. <laughs> I mean, that goes hand That's in hand an with old the old story. I was going to yeah. say, you told me before that you got stabbed out of context. Now that I know that you were born in Oakland, was a nerd. <laughs> like I was like, all right. it's all coming together. It's all ah, making sense to me now. <laughs> you can write the story now. <laughs> <laughs> fill, in, fill in the blanks. Blank. So, how did you get stabbed again? Oh man, that, Travis already interviewed me on this. I can't be doubling up on content. No, right. you're okay, doubling. but First, I'll just show. I'll give People you the watch the show. <laughs> I'll give you the real abridged version. Okay. I went to a baseball game, Oakland A's, with my friend. Yeah. We we're coming back on Bart. BART is public public yeah. transportation. They don't have a lot of that in LA. Yep. Um, we were wait we were waiting. Um, actually wait, we weren't even into the BART station first. We were waiting for the bus to get to BART. And I'm just standing there. Guy comes up, doesn't even threaten us first. There there's no like, give me your money or else. Just comes up and I just feel it sink into my neck right here. Drop on the ground. I'm just bleeding. He rifles through my pockets. Pulls off both my shoes. <laughs> I didn't even have nice shoes. I didn't even. I had no Jordans or anything. I, I was wearing like some random Adidas or something. Just takes my shoes, raffles through my pockets, and runs the fuck off. What the fuck? And my my friend is just standing there, like staring at me. Also, like what? He just keeps saying that over and over and over. <laughs> just like what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? And I, that's what I. Then I start repeating. I'm like, please, oh, what the even just happened? And it's just. Apparently, I was really lucky because it didn't hit. Uh, it was really close to like a spinal injury, right? <laughs> yeah. Where I would be like paralyzed, but it was it was all tissue, it was all muscle right here. Um, and so then my friend just like picks me up. We he takes me to his house. His mom opens the door and just starts screaming in my face because there's blood all over me, oh and she's like God. shocked. And, right. Uh, the, yeah, that that's me? that's the whole story. They take me to the hospital. It's fine. Uh, they stitch it up. Doctor tells me how lucky I am. So you tell me this guy's a master of efficiency and pressure points. He's like, I don't want to kill him. Bam! Just take give me your shoes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> these and, are my shoes. And, <laughs> and to be honest, at that at that point in my life, I was I probably would have done something dumb, like tried to fight him or something, if he had threatened me. So it was probably honestly a better decision from Did him. Just get stabbed once. It was <laughs> probably because it was more efficient for him. Because yeah. I'm pretty sure I would have done something stupid if even if he had. <laughs> was that knife clean? I will ask that question because well, I mean, he's still here today. I, Did he leave? I it turned in? out fine. No, he did not leave it in. It was a. What? It's even worse. That's even crazy. You're never supposed to pull it out. I mean, that's why I was bleeding so much. Well, how long did it take for you to get to the mother's house and just like get yourself cleaned up? Fucking felt like forever. I don't. I don't know. Probably. I was just. Everything I was just dizzy. Feels longer when you got a hole in you. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> and my friend. And my friend is just like. <laughs> he's just like put his hands on my shoulder the whole time. Oh <laughs> man, got the iron card cosplay. <laughs> And then, like, by the time we get to his his house, I'm just so fucking out of it because I've lost so much blood. Yeah. And then I just remember the, the memory that sticks with me the clearest, besides the, like, stab moment and falling on the ground, is his mom fucking opening the door and instantly screaming in my face. That, is, that would that would. It mu- she must have been screaming for, like, five minutes straight. What? Holy well, yeah. It just seemed like that. Yeah, it is like that. Like, people lose their minds when they see shit like that. I mean, it's not every day somebody comes to your door like, hello, knock, knock. It's me, this person you've seen plenty of times before, except now I'm covered in blood. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, but I feel like if you showed up at my house with just, like, your arm missing, I'd kind of just accept it at that point. You would probably scream a little bit. I'd I'd be like, I I think it'd be like, oh, come on. That's a reaction. It's 2023, though. I could probably get a robot one. That is true. I would... I think you would cut your own arm off just to get a robot one installed. I mean, if you can get like a cyberpunk one, one of them big like sons of bitches with a rocket launcher in it or something. <laughs> or like FMA. I don't know what that is. 
Yeah. Full oh, Metal Alchemist. Is, is that we the, got it. Wait, that's the that's the show with the picture of the the girl and the dog that everybody says is super hey, heartbreaking. Yeah. But I don't yeah. hey, don't fuck with Full Metal Alchemist. That's Dude, that's a good I'm, one. I'm not it's talking no good. shit. I'm just saying the only thing I know about that show is I always see this picture of a girl hugging a dog, yeah. and then I'm like. And then everybody's like, oh, my God, I wasn't ready to cry yeah. again. And I'm like, it's a picture of a girl and a dog, you pussies. What are you talking about? <laughs> that emotion get, that, that anime gets you in touch with your emotions at a very young age. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. That's terrible a day for rain. I know terrible day for rain is like he's crying in the rain I, I for will, some no, reason. No, it's not He's raining. not crying. He's not crying. But oh. I will say I just randomly realized. <laughs> Ovaly. Her dog's right here. I'm just saying, you're an experiment away. <laughs> I've I've put a wig on him before and posted it on Twitter, and people have gotten really mad. There it is. That's a good one. That's a classic one. So yeah, Full Metal Alchemist, a solid one. Uh, he knows. <laughs> one day we'll learn, fellow non weebs we what to, this is about. But it, that day is not today. Is there anything else we need <laughs> to know about you, you, Kobe? <laughs> yeah, well, I, think, I think you covered it. <laughs> Oh, we got, the, we got the core experience. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's, yeah, that's, that's pretty good. Um, He's a LCS caster. Oh yeah, there is that too. <laughs> that's like covered in the nerd part, though. Yeah. But also, does that really mean too much nowadays? Oh. Okay, like <laughs> means a lot more than working for a team that was good and sucks now. <laughs> yeah, there it is. <laughs> Look, at, bam! Here, Fuck it, air, air high five. Yeah, 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 oh, 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 it's your fault that they were empty. Fucking out here trying to save the environment, we ought to recycle you. Yes. You came, you came to the LCS and then they fell apart all of a sudden. What's going on? I don't know where. I came to the LCS, they started going upwards. I miss a couple weeks of games and all of a sudden, uh, so maybe no, that I was the start of their demise. Their games effect. were getting a little messy the moment you were there. Well, I was there for week one. So does that mean that we were like already at the level? Wait, where you we were there. Could... That was week one. Okay, don't lie. No, no, she's lying. She's lying. She's saying that she was with FlyQuest in week one. You weren't in studio week one. Oh, you're talking about in yeah, studio. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, you're talking about that. Oh my god. You're talking about the moment where I we're went talking about in. practice. <laughs> So I've seen like some FlyQuest fan theories right now, and I see some people saying like, "Okay, well, Prince and Vikla have been here for a couple months now." Yeah, they caught the NA bug. No, not the NA bug. Do they have the girlfriend debuff? Mm. Ooh. I don't think uh, Prince, Prince has it. Prince does retweet a lot of fan art. <laughs> Look, <laughs> is, it, is it all from the same source? No, oh. it isn't. Oh. But he had a he had a girlfriend application, no, a wife application, because he wanted the green card. So he put it out there. If anyone wanted to marry him for a green card, look, he's available. There's a lot of footage of him though, because he streams a lot, so you can keep track of him because he's either on LCS or he's streaming a lot. Okay. So okay. true. You can account for a lot of his time. Okay. So that I don't think <laughs> that's though. the case. Vikla though. He's got more unaccounted for time. Yes. I filmed something with him today where we were doing like a little skit where I teach him English. Mm. He's very funny. He's yes, actually nice. a really great personality, and that's so is simple. Prince. Prince is so good. Prince is so wholesome too. Spika too. Spika's fucking hilarious. That team's amazing. They're a gold mine. Every yeah. part of that, yeah. I think it's hilarious. And then like, agree. <laughs> Impact can just play the foil in every situation because he's just he's always surrounded by just pure Zoomer energy, and I just enjoy it. He had it when he was on the Evil Geniuses, now on FlyQuest. So he just needs to be. I can't even say dad vibes. He's the grandpa. That's it. <laughs> the man is a grandpa. I love the fact that sometimes we'll have like older LCS players and we call them grandpa vibes or grandpa energy and they're like 26. Yeah. But how old is Impact? He's definitely older than 26. Is they're he older than 26? This. How old they're is he? This. That's why this I left my phone. I would guess. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no I guess 28. Yeah, I, I, I'd guess. 28. Right? I'm thinking 27. You think 27? Yeah, that's my guess. I think right that's here. a good guess because I know that it's Impact, Robin, and it was Reaper who are all living together in a house. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And I feel like they wouldn't live well together if they weren't all somewhat close in age. And I know, I think Reaper is at least 30. 28. He's 28. He is 28. Whoa, Got it. That. There it is. You nailed it. Because it was just his birthday the other day, too. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. Oh, true. So that means you were mostly right. He was 27 up until very, very recently. Okay, this makes sense. This makes sense. <laughs> there he is, so that rounds up. You get, you get half point for that. Perfect. He just wasn't invited to his birthday party, so he didn't know. You weren't invited either. Hey, you know what you were invited to? A what? The Streamer Awards. <laughs>
I wouldn't. <gasps> yeah, yeah no, why didn't you invite him, huh? You weren't. Because I was trying to get Raz more cultured. Me? Mm-hmm. I'm not cultured? He's from Ohio. <laughs> it took me until I was 14 to be able to spell culture. <laughs> <laughs> Honey. <laughs> Yeah. I, I swear for the first two years that Flowers had joined the LCS, every weekend there was just a new food or new uh, something that he had never experienced before. And it, yeah. it was always a, you know, the more you know, rainbow yeah. flies across the screen. Yeah. Every... I never heard of half of this stuff, man. <laughs> so like, and, yeah, go on. Well, I was just about to say, but you guys didn't believe my stuff either about like living True. out in the middle of nowhere, making like custom made oh, fire I rockets it. and like flipping turkeys and driving tractors and wrecking stuff into creek and the flipping the turkeys, turkeys ones I don't really get. No, it's just it's a contest. So Tipping flipping? cows. Where are you finding turkeys? No, what? it's a contest at the county fair. It's a thing that little kids do oh, when they're age. There's a they let a turkey loose in the arena, and then like it's kids like ten and under, and they catch a turkey and they flip them upside down and they show you his belly because all the like fancy feathers are on their belly, and whoever catches the turkey uh-huh. and shows off his belly the fastest wins. Turkey. Flip. What do they want? Uh, I don't know. Some like little metal or something. Aren't turkeys so dumb they drown standing up? Standing yeah, up. Yeah, at the yeah. rain. Mm, look, yeah, with their mouths open. They go. That's what? A, that was my only turkey fun fact. They look up at the rain uh, like that, and then they drown. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I think flipping them around is kind of dangerous. <laughs> no, you put them back down. You don't just walk or you don't just sling them over your back when you're doing it. Come on, Mister Turkey. That's amazing. Yeah, of course. I need to go to an, an Ohio County Fair or something just for that. I would actually love that. One day we're all just going to go stay at Flowers' parents' house. No, you don't want to do that. I think we all want to do yeah, that. We're all going to move. Of nowhere. There's, you can't do it. You can't order delivery. You literally, It is not physically <laughs> possible. Okay. Neither of you can order food. We're going to have to bring supplies yeah, you with are, us. Supplies, you, yeah. That's why living here in California, I don't have the same problem that everybody else does of wasting fucking three hundred dollars a week on delivery because i don't have the delivery habit built in because we literally pizza places wouldn't deliver to where my parents didn't raz sit. order like 301 single order wait yeah. one time? well he was going to order that shit you remember that pasta place you're gonna order place. a family lasagna <laughs> for yourself that one and i was like was so i don't know easy. if you're gonna eat that much man it was like a hundred <laughs> or something dollars and i was like because it was not it was just it was a lasagna and it was a pasta and i wanted both <laughs> but if i got both it was just going to be ridiculously expensive i didn't end up getting it because I got ta- talked down. Then you, then you store it for. I helped you, you man. Store it for tomorrow. You talked me down. Yeah, I could have done that. See, That's mo- you never eat leftovers. You throw that shit out every time. I have never seen you eat leftovers. Wait, wait, wait. Did you eat the lasagna that I gave you last week? I did that okay. night though. Good. That's I, a lot of lasagna. I ate a lot of lasagna because <laughs> I was high as hell. <laughs> Watching the wire eating lasagna. <laughs> Did you at least heat no, it back wire, up? That's actually yeah. good. When, that is so good. Yeah, when, that. when we got dropped off back at my place, like I, like Raz came with me to my house. I gave him two space gummies, which is a kick. And then he went back to his place, and he's just munching gummies and lasagna, watching the wire. <laughs> it is look. That is the best experience possible. Because then you get really expressive. You're yelling at your TV and shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you're immersed. Yeah, you're you, Im- be, you become a character in it. You're yeah, like, you're oh, part of the story. The <laughs> I would just get upset. Like, I would pause the show if a character did something really stupid. Just be on my phone, just mad. And I'd be like, fuck, I'm just going to watch it. Just I'll watch it through. And I'll just like, I am basically what, channeling my What season my were you watching? Because overall, it's one of the greatest... He's uh, only halfway through you know, season two right now. He's Wait, is this the first time you've ever watched yeah, it before? Yeah, he's never watched it before. He's oh never watched God. it, so don't I'm spoil. So don't spoil. He's I halfway through one of the There are some two. seasons in the middle that are real slow. Yes. Well, this yeah. one is – I like the slowness of this one because it's, it's really getting into the characters and building them up. So, like, I've gotten to a point where I'm not – no spoilers. But you, you really empathize with the antagonists. So I just don't want them to lose. And that's just how it is right now. I love too many people on that show except for one individual – and I want him to you lose. Come everything. at the king, you best not miss. There Fucking it is. Remember that. There it is. Exactly. What is the wire? The Wire is a show that came out in the early 2000s. I believe it initially premiered in 2002 on HBO. It's the reason a lot of people didn't watch it back when it first came back out because you know HBO was the the premium subscription service. I stuff. was six. Yeah. So like we didn't have HBO. My family never did. So I never watched it until I had access to like high speed internet. You can watch everything, right? Anyway, it's a like police drama but it's not just about the police like it goes into the lives and like machinations of both them and the guys on the wrong side of the law so you spend time following all of the characters not just as 
cops and robbers, but as actual people living their lives, like their motivations and what they're doing, yep. the city that they live in. It does a really good job of storytelling in that the characters don't feel contrived and shitty. Like it's it's the opposite of anime. It's not like <laughs> it's yeah. not like some edgy guy and an uwu girl work together to save the world because they're destined for it. It's like no, this it actually feels very real. The characters feel very rooted. Yeah. My characters it, it feel very has, real. It has amazing. It's really good character building, world building. Yes. Uh, it, yeah, like you said, it, you get all these different perspectives. It's currently rated number six all time highest rated on IMDb. I, I actually think that's too low. Uh, it Ooh. used to be higher, but some other bullshit. What the fuck is rated it. one now? Attack on Titan. No. So da, da, number da, one da, is, da. is Planet Earth 2. Oh, that's good. Okay, that's like a the documentary. Hell? That doesn't count. No, the there's hell? penguins. Planet Earth is taking up number one and number three. That's just greedy. Yeah, okay, that's what's awful. what's two through what's two, four, and Breaking five? Breaking Bad is Bre number two. That's Breaking fair. Bad is really good. I can get behind that. So for for six years, The Wire was because yeah. Breaking Bad didn't exist. Right. Yeah. The Wire was earlier. Uh, Band of Brothers. I've heard really good things about that. Band of Brothers. I've heard Chernobyl. Very good I've seen the first like 20 minutes of the first episode and that's it. <laughs> yeah, I've heard but Chernobyl is number five. Okay. I have, I have never heard a single negative thing about band of brothers. I still have yet to watch it, but Damn. I would, I would believe that one being above it as well. It yeah. So like breaking bad band of brothers, the wire. Uh, I really like better call Saul. Soprano should be there. The like, Soprano should be I've always there. heard a lot of good. I've never watched Sopranos. Yeah. So that's like, that's one of the ones that I never saw. Well, I enjoyed I was, that do, one. That do you remember, really do you remember getting mad at me when you thought that I spoiled better call Saul for you? You did. I didn't though. Wait, what was it that what was it that you were So, for Better Call Saul? Yeah. This is just like the plain difference as to how Flowers and I watch Netflix. When Flowers watches Netflix or Better Call Saul, it sounds like it has pretty much his full attention. Yeah. When I have Netflix well, on... He's also probably high as shit. So that's like, probably true. attention too. is probably like <laughs> only 20% of total. <laughs> but he's not like Zoomer energy where he needs to watch Subway Surfers yeah, on yeah. TikToks while a Reddit thread is being read out loud to him. That uh, sentence made me throw up in my mouth. <laughs> I will show you so many TikToks. All of them are of Pedro Pascal. I won't Ooh. click any of them. Yeah, I'm going to make you watch <laughs> it. I'm going to make you watch it. Uh, but basically, I watch Netflix with, with like League of Legends on the other monitor or like an MMO. I will play WoW and have it on the other monitor. And so there was one day, I think I was watching Start, or I was playing Stardew Valley and watching Better Call Saul, and it's the new season. Mm. And we were talking back and forth about Better Call Saul because he was the only friend that I knew that had watched it. And there's one point. Have you guys watched it? Spoilers? Nope. I've watched the. I've just started. I've, I'm on like season one. Okay, I'm just gonna spoilers. Yeah, whatever. Spoilers. Fine. Spoilers. There's one moment in the final season where it looks like someone had died. Yeah. But if you were paying attention, they didn't die. It was just like a body double. And yeah. you weren't paying attention. And I was not paying attention. So I was like, "Oh, flowers! It's crazy how like." This person died. <laughs> and oh, that is just a spoiler. Even if he doesn't die, that's a spoiler. But he had told me that he had seen all of Better Call Saul. I had seen it. I had seen all that was available. So yeah. here's the thing. So that's where my confusion was. The, the show has six seasons. Five of them are currently available on Netflix. The last season you still have to buy from like Amazon or whatever. <laughs> yeah. And oh. so Avali had the last season. And so she had started watching that. And so she was telling me stuff from the season that I hadn't seen. Mm -hmm. And she was like, oh, isn't it crazy how this character died? Bro, I actually just immediately closed Discord, said fuck you out loud, yeah. and didn't respond to anything she sent me for like 24 hours. I was, I, that is the most angry I've ever been at Ovali. I oh felt my personally, God. I felt personally betrayed. Like, uh, but I, so, but this was my misunderstanding because you, because when he said, yeah, I have yeah, seen yeah. everything that's out, and I'm like, oh, he's seen everything that's out because I was just spamming like all of it, all yeah. of it in a row. I didn't yeah. know the Netflix thing. But the funny thing was, was that character wasn't fucking dead. Because I just wasn't paying attention. There was also the part where he... She spoiled you with incorrect information. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Incorrect information. That's even more fucked up. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it was a bit... I got all pissed off for nothing. <laughs> I think, look, even with that, I would still be mad because you are, you know something with life or death is going to happen. Yeah. So you know a big event's going to happen with this character. I'm like, no, I'm still pissed. Even if it's wrong. Even someone's fucking with me. I'm like, no, you're on my shit list now. So, but, okay, still, I thought he had seen it, but... Yes. What adds is uh, what adds more to it is the thing we were talking about just before, where it was the death of another important character, and basically there was like you know there's a trigger warning uh, yeah, at the top yeah. of shows now, and this one was like I think suicide, 
Okay. And so he tells me, "Hey, you I'm only have to." I'm planning on finishing and watching some more seasons of this too. I don't know how many. How many more of these are we gonna there's, spoil? There's this last one. This is the last one. Some people die. Lots of important people die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This oh, last whatever. One. It's like All Game right. of Thrones. Hey, characters die over the course of the show. That's <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But this one, I I didn't catch it because I was asking. I'm like, hey, you know what? I'm like, I'm not in a good mental headspace. Let me know when the suicide happens so I I can like prepare myself a little bit. That's the use of trigger warning kids some of us need them but so i ask him i'm like when is it and he says oh by like this episode you'll be f- like this is around when it happens and i'm like yeah. okay i watched through that entire season i'm like flowers i don't know what you're talking about it never like i never saw anything nothing ever happened she wasn't paying attention she was dicking around on tiktok and tft and didn't even see the character kill themselves you son like, of a <laughs> bitch and i was like i don't get it what are you talking she was, she was like why I got past that point. You said once I got to X episode, I didn't have to worry about the trigger warning anymore. And you didn't notice that character is just not not around anymore. Well, no, it's a very notice? subtle way. It's very subtle. No, it's not. It's, it's very not subtle. Even remotely. I don't think that's Sorry, Obli's gonna Ian, forget to know? come to your funeral Co- or something. Co- He's Co- like, wow, I haven't seen Kobe. flowers in a long time. Plug your ears real quick and say la 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 la. <laughs> okay. Don't say la 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 because it's yeah. gonna kill our audio. It's, it's Chuck. For fuck's sake, she didn't notice Chuck. Like, <laughs> but like because he yeah I, I didn't get it i i just i didn't get it it was just kind of like that slow zoom out and he just looks like he's sad and then like you just see the rest of the house and i'm like okay and then the episode ended and the season ended and i didn't get it no way we're not paying that whenever i because i will just do random shit i'll other while but we'll have like a tiktok on the side maybe something another game if i fuck up no i was like i'm rewatching this i don't care if like, i'm putting stuff on the side it's only like streams or something i can't believe too. you guys watch stuff that you actually want to pay attention to on the side yeah that that's what it's, i can't do i'm like it's zoomer shit it's, i'm like look f- some league of legends or something just like random soldier yeah. game stream yeah throw that up on monitor too i won't do a league of legends game because for me I will do it naturally, and then if I miss something, some it ha- happens with the wire a lot now. If I miss something, I'll be like, "Don't fuck. tell me you're watching the wire second monitor." No, 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 no I'm not. Okay. But sometimes <laughs> okay, I look okay. at a tweet, and okay. then I'll realize okay. I for, missed the scene that I could tell was important. Okay, so I'll go back. So I never miss anything, but but that's because I'm like rewatching an episode multiple times at this point. <laughs> that's literally what's just happening now. Um, so that's the case, but. Yeah, it's better when we'll I have a question for you. <laughs> you que- okay. Because you brought it up. How was the streamer awards? Oh, my God. I wanted to talk about that. I'm so sad. I'm so sad because Raz was supposed to come with me to the streamer awards. Yeah. It was fantastic, by the way. Cutie Cinderella did a great job, as always, putting it on. This is the second year that they've been doing the streamer awards. Last year, they did streamer awards. Mm-hmm. It was fun. It was a lot smaller. Yeah. It was to the point where there were there were no fans, no, uh, you know, essentially randos. You're talking about this year or last year? I'm talking about last year. Last year was much smaller. Okay. There were no fans, no randos or whatever. So it's like everyone basically knew each other. Mm-hmm. This year was a little bit different where they opened up the upper top. Uh, like the top layer of the will turn to fans. Mm-hmm. So there was maybe like a couple hundred fans upstairs and mm-hmm. then all of the streamers and guests and stuff were downstairs. Yeah. And so I was so bummed because I thought it was going to be so much fun together. Yeah. But you got what? You got like the flu or something. Something hit me. It was like a common cold, but it was like initially I, I found out because – I went was that early. like two days ago or something? Yeah. 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 Yes. Back when you missed LCS. Yeah. So like I, I went oh. to the LCS. I went to the LCS. Yeah. We went to the early story meetings. And I was like, I feel kind of bad, but I thought it was just me having like, not a hangover, but like, you know, just didn't wake up. Like, just didn't sleep much, right? That's yeah. what I thought it was. Mm. But I was like, not getting away. In fact, it's getting worse. Oh, no. I have a pounding headache. Stuffy knows. No, this is me getting a cold. I was like, mm-hmm. I, I made an audible call. I was like, okay, I'm probably just going to go home. That's why I had to do the uh, game show. Yeah, there I had is. To su- I subbed in for you for the game thank show. You, thank you. Yeah, thank yeah, you. Yeah. I appreciate that because I need... Yeah, I was just out for two days and they had a body double for me. The sad thing was, <laughs> you're not going to like this. 2 p.m., like 3 p.m. on the stream rewards day, I was like 95% healthy. You I bitch. was basically good enough to go to the stream rewards. I was a little concerned about like even if I'm healthy, am I still contagious was the only question. But yeah. I was like, oh, I'm actually good. But at this point, I am literally watching the red carpet thing on my stream. Yeah. So I'm like, not going to go. 
it was just too late to do that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I did have a funny question. Yeah. I think I messaged you about it. Mm-hmm. When they made the dummy for Raz, was this intentional? You know exactly what I'm going to say, exactly right? I know exactly what I was talking you about. Know, was it, Ian, was this intentional? Uh, they took the dummy for Raz. Uh, they used the dummy for me before. It's just like this big old kind of like the white cloth dummy like we had for G4 and stuff. They threw swim trunks on. Yes. And then a black t-shirt. So my question is, were yeah. they dressing up the dummy in swimsuit attire or was it a oh black t-shirt? God. Oh. Do you see where I'm, see where I'm, I'm going? I'm saying it was that definitely a t-shirt. It <laughs> was a t-shirt. <laughs> oh, now that I think about it. It's a little. It's a little That's accurate. It's a little suspicious. It's a little accurate. It's a little yeah. suspicious. <laughs> I didn't. I, I, didn't know. I have no part of that. Uh, there we go. I will say, Ovali noticed it earlier than I did. What does that say about Ovali? It says that I am sensitive she's to. She's looking to all... cancel people. Too. Yeah, <laughs> she's a bounty hunter. She's a cancel, cancel hungry. <laughs> True. <laughs> I'm just a fucking. I I love. I'm a troublemaker. That was um, fun though. I enjoyed that. I didn't expect it. It was cute. It was yeah. cute though. But yeah, streamer awards were a lot of fun. They had some really cool performances and stuff. I got to see mm-hmm. some good buds. What? I had some some good critiques. Buds? Oh, oh critiques on Let's the, the award. Let's hear the critiques. So, Cutie Cinderella did an amazing job. All right, nothing up, not, nothing against her, but whenever you have a streamer awards, guess who's gonna be the suspects of dumb shit? The streamers, <laughs> the streamers. I was watching the red carpet. I was watching it all, and sometimes I'd be like, "Move on to the next guy. This guy stinks." Like <laughs> the worst one was like there was two guys that I think were really famous uh, that were just like, "We have an announcement," and we were like, "Okay, this is interesting. They're gonna say something special. We're moving to kick." I was like, oh, you dumb motherfucker. Like, this is not even your house. You're going to Cutie Cinderella's place, announcing while she has Twitch sponsors behind her, saying they're going to kick. And then, like, Hassan and Ludwig were, like, trying to be, like, play it off. But I'd be like, look behind you. What are these sponsors? They said they found Twitch after being dumbasses. And then they were like, they said something to, like, make it sure, make sure they'd be like, and what's the sponsor? It's like, steak.com. I was like, you bitch i was like literally i was like nah the streamers would were it, a mistake would it help if i told you that i think it was like i think that was carl jacobs and sapnap i think so i don't know them though. and they're both literally like 18 or 19 years old it was a troll yeah and they're a oh, part of her wasn't, organization wait, it wasn't real it was a troll uh, and i think they're saying that because they're a part of misfits too co-owners of misfits okay, and now okay. she's signed with misfits okay that so it sounds it like you just weren't in the know because Ooh. you just weren't in the cool kids club. L- look, it makes it better from being insensitive to being cringe comedy. So like, you know what? Whoa, 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 I'll careful take. with that. Careful with that. <laughs> Whose house are you in right now? <laughs> the cringe house. <laughs> 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 the scouch cringe. Hey. Um, uh, that one. I mean, the only thing was also the audio, but like, that's fine. Um, for s- some instances, but it was just the streamers. Some of the interviewers are like, oh, move on. This guy is not doing it. Um, but I enjoyed it. I really loved the entire thing. The outfits for a lot of people were insane. Like Pokey's outfit, fire. Hassan's outfit, fire. There's a lot of people that I was just like, no, they dressed up. They're I was yeah. not gonna come in prepared. Is my realization? <laughs> say it. You say the fire ones. You gotta say who's dog doo doo. Who's who's trash? Oh, who's dog doo doo? Let me think. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> throw up, you gotta throw up a oh, picture of I know who's dog now. <laughs> I know who's dog doo doo. Who's dog doo doo? Hundred thieves, man. Oh. Wait, uh, how, who, which one? How many of them? Which ones? <laughs> I would say all two, <laughs> three in particular. Was it fucking Name Nate them. shot or who? What, 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 what's going on so, here? Tenacity. That guy came in sweats. Ooh. Closer Wait, came in sweats. Did she specifically say red carpet? They two came in sweats, and then Nuke Duck came in with like. Basically, you're like a jacket, tie, just to sweat. Like, I was like, oh, God, no, stop. You're representing us. I will say, Bjergsen came dressed to success. Yes, he did. Andrew came dressed to success. There we go. Uh, Peter was in a cute little tie. Yeah, I think he was dressed little tie. Recently, yeah. I, I can't remember if he had a suit jacket on, but he had at least yeah. like a button up and a tie. Yeah. Lena looked good. Mm-hmm. Um, I think those were all the esports people that I can remember, though. Yeah, I And then, oh, I mean, your girl. We didn't have- so I was going to ask you that because I was having a conversation with some other. Cool. Oh, Pope. Right, yeah. yeah. Pope was there. Yes, I am. Um, I feel like we're in such a weird place where it used to be, used to be 
League of Legends and LCS kind of like ran the streamer game yeah. where it was, oh, cool, it's Dyrus. It's yeah, that, uh, that is Chaos. long gone like, now. Yeah. Right. That is long it gone. It is so We gone. used to be so cool. Now we go to these parties and we're like, who, what, what do you do? Who are you? Exactly. So it's like, have you had those moments where you walk into a party where it's usually like, oh, cool, LCS team here, LCS team here, or like the support staff, and now you just walk in and it's all random streamer. Yeah, it, it's 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 still okay though. I still like going to them because I also we also grew up and know like I knew Iman and Boosley and like all of these streamers that are super big now when they were first starting, and so everybody's chill still. But it does. Travis was saying the same thing to me because we went, and we were like waiting in line and stuff. And, and he was like, you know, we used to be the cool ones, and now he was like, I feel really intimidated and scared to go up and talk to. I think it was like a GTA RP streamer or something. Oh, yeah. And he was like, I, 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 I'm getting like heart palpitations. I don't want to even go up and talk to. Him. He doesn't even like know who the person is. Where they're like, they're way bigger. That makes sense. And like, so it was an interesting uh, turnaround. I kind of feel that whenever you go to parties now or just even that environment, you're like, oh, it's Valorant. It's Valorant, and it's like other streamers, generally speaking, which I like. I think the one thing that I like about the game right now is like at least the popularity of it's not game content that's right now like taking over. It's just chatting. It's just being you as a personality and being a variety streamer. So that's that's a evolution that I didn't expect and I really really love that just enjoying any game that comes to mind. That's a, like a level of freedom that I enjoy. So yes. But I wasn't there. I was just watching. Neither was I. At okay. Home. Bam. I, I was having a breakup, so it could be worse. What? <laughs> what? Yeah. what? It was like it and it wasn't it wasn't like a rom-com teary, you know, cry, crying fest breakup. It was like a paradigm shifting like because we became really connected really quickly and understood and learned a lot and had a lot of insights about each other's characters and 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 views and stuff and so it was just like i was thinking all night about so many different things about like contemplating what i have to change about myself and my future and, and looking oh, forward shit, okay. and what a, you know what am i going to take for this and learnings for my Damn. next relationships and stuff and it was it was more of a you know like a just introspective yeah like a brain suffocator. long long night because we this weekend we yeah because we both had insights where we we both came to the same kind of conclusions that you know even if we fix some of these things that we both identified it still it still would take a bunch of time yeah. to actually you know reconnect and, and be passionate again and so we're like regardless we have to break up but um but who dumb too or at least take a break sounds like it was mutual it w it was mutual. Yes, she brought it up. Damn! <laughs> <laughs> so you always have to admit who brought it up. You got it. But you it got was it. mutual. We both. You got it. We. Hey, okay, we both. I identified some stuff that she we admitted was wrong with her. Okay, okay, okay dude. Okay, okay. All right, I am. I approved her. Okay, <laughs> it's not just me. <laughs> One of those things where it's like, but, honey, we need to talk. Will you snore at night? <laughs> <laughs> so and it, it, the th the thing was like they were so much deeper things than 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 yeah stuff like that because yeah. we were real we got really emotionally connected really early on yeah and so it 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 was beneficial you know I'm real I'm you know I'm very glad for the experience uh and I feel like I'm gonna grow but damn that's whoo that'd that, take me yeah, up for a sorry. fucking I, month. It, it, that happened then the stock market crashed i didn't get a fucking goddamn sleep this weekend and something else big happened i don't remember what it was because the there's just so much other stuff huh? the banks yeah that, that was the stock market, that was the stock market. oh that yeah. was the yeah. stock yeah. i thought stocks and banks are different well the stock market everybody panics because of all the news about yeah. the oh. bank crashing can we talk about literally anything else talking about finances makes me want to kill myself yeah <laughs> Yeah, get me out of here. Okay. How do we get on right. this? I will say this. So while the streamer <laughs> awards were happening. Oh, tell me. And while you were going through it, <laughs> my ass almost died. <laughs> oh, what yeah. How did you almost die? So I was in my room watching the streamer awards. Th everything was vibing. And I was just like, okay, we're enjoying this. I'm going to get a Coke, like a can of Coke, whatever. I walk out of my bedroom, open the door. I smell something. I'm like, it smells like fumes or something. I don't know what the hell this is. And my... Start tasting metal? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> and my air purifier was going wild. I was like, 
I'm gonna shut this shit off. I don't know what it is, what's going on here, but I'm gonna shut off my air purifier. Go back home. Wa- go back in my room. Watch the whole streamer rewards with my new can of Coke and his vibe. So I did all of that. <laughs> I did all of that. Get out of my room after the stream rewards is done. Take out the trash. I was like, wait a minute. My welcome mat has been hung up by like this other thing. It's like for whatever reason, I guess it was wet. There is like a fire hydrant that was right next to me. And then as I was walking out with my trash, I see a charred furniture right next to my next door neighbor and his door is fucked up. I was like, what did I miss? <laughs> so I find what, out what piece of furniture. Wait, it's a charred. It was it, a it kitchen was like an appliance. Or it was, was a it like kitchen a appliance. It was a weird thing. It was like okay. a kitchen appliance, which I think they use for baking. Or something. It was like a very slim thing. Okay, so at least it was uh, he had so he had a fire yeah. in the kitchen. So he was cooking in the kitchen and he burned that shit up. <laughs> Let him cook. He bur- <laughs> literally, he burned that shit up. So I was like, "What actually happened here?" So I find out from messaging my uh, uh, landlord that there was a fire in my next door neighbor's apartment that night. That mm-hmm. it was quite serious. The fire department came in and everything. Like, they had to, like, take that shit out. They were concerned because of how much it, like, how big it was. They went, they entered my apartment. They went in with the fire department. And you didn't notice? And what I didn't know. The fuck is you watching the stream awards, bro? With my headphones on, watching <laughs> the awards, talking in Discord with my, like, my friends, and just vibing. And apparently throughout all of this, they had went into my house Check to see the air to see like okay it's not it's not like awful the air quality is not <laughs> oh, shit fuck. it's like livable they left completely just like dismantled this guy's like apartment and took everything out there was a lot of noise apparently and I had just vibed in my room as a fire was occurring I'm dumb as shit classic rash yeah kinda I don't know what to say like that <laughs> was so after that happened and I messaged my landlord and they're like yeah I also uh you know walked into your apartment with the fire department and everything i was like well what the hell is going on here like i just i just need to either keep the my bedroom door open because i'm by the way i don't live with other people i live alone uh-huh. so dead door open or just like don't have my headphones in the entire time so i think that we need either you or you to go check on raz every like five days make sure he's not dead in there bro i walked by that by the building when this shit was happening there were two big fire trucks out there like cop car was blocking the road like this was a whole deal and Raz is going why are these idiots talking about steak.com on the fucking twitch <laughs> promo <channel?" laughs> literally priorities just absolute priorities like ooh that outfit's fire you know what else is on fire the, the building next door <laughs> literally right next door my neighbor He's yeah, getting delirious from all the smoke coming in. Yeah, That's man, do you have, like, carbon wait. monoxide poisoning or anything? Speaking <laughs> of possible. near-death experiences, Flyers, do you remember we almost got hit by a car in the corner at right? Oh, yeah, that was wild, bro. When, when that, did this happen? At, oh, this was back in, like, 2018. Okay. It was at the, it was at the corner at, at Riot where you cross the street to go to Main the campus. other side of the street. Me and Kobe were just standing there. It was around dinner time, so around rush hour in the evening, right? And so we're waiting, and as we're about to go, the light changes so that the... The people crossing in front of us, like our crosswalk, they should be stopped and the people coming out should be able to go. And so this guy comes out and then some other dude's just driving down the road. He's like, ah, red light ain't for me. And so they just collide and they like shit explodes. Like it was like slow motion. No, yeah, it's I I experienced bullet time. It is one of it is one of the only times in my life I actually experienced like the time slow down effect. And you just see like this shrapnel and these car parts go flying past. And we fucking dove in behind the bus. No, (laughs) I remember that. (laughs) Kobe Kobe took cover behind like a like a pole, like the because you took cover behind. You you were smart. Kobe took cover behind like the standing pole because one of the cars was spinning towards us. And so Kobe takes cover behind this pole. I immediately, I remember standing there thinking like, ha ha car. And then I was like, wait, (laughs) that'll kill me. And so I was like, whatever. And I just threw myself backwards. (laughs) And I threw myself backwards into what were a bunch of bushes in front of Riot. And I was like, oh, okay, at least I'm fine. I just fucked up my arm a little bit landing on it. And then I looked to the left of me, two inches to the left of where I threw my entire body weight back and crashed into these butches is an old, like, cut off part of a steel 
uh, like signpost in the ground oh my that God. was like three inches tall and it was just standing right there. So if I jumped at a slightly different I angle, I would have impaled my side <laughs> on that steel thing. I don't like that motion that you did either. It yeah, was like, so like boing. Steel. <laughs> So, right yeah, then we, we got up, we checked on the people in the cars. They were shook up, but they were fine. Like, you know, cops and ambulances yeah. showed up to make sure everything was fine. And then we were like, you want to go eat food? That that was crazy, though. It, like, it slowed down and we saw some. What What's that game where you have where you have Bayonetta. you take like the, the stim or I guess there's a lot of them. Anyways, people are, a lot of them. understand. Max Payne. Uh, understand. Yeah, Max Payne. Ma Max I'm, Payne's the one that originally did that's it back what I'm like in about with the 90s. Time, was yeah. Max Payne. Oh, my God. That that was crazy. It was it was someone was waiting here to take a left turn. And so as it went yellow, they started taking their left turn. And like you said, the, guy the person just, coming through was like, I ain't stopping, fuck that. It's LA, you know? And he like slams on the gas full yeah. blast. And so they just boom. And then spin right at us too. It was crazy. I was still finding pieces of them cars for like the next two weeks. Like you would just find one randomly, like in the yeah. mulch, like when you were walking from a different angle, you'd be like, oh, part of that car flew out here. That's <laughs> yeah, that was, that was nutty. What the hell? Yeah. Do you have any stories? What about like you? That? You, can, you can share with the class. Well, she was a part of it. The accident. only <laughs> fuck you. The <laughs> only the only bullet time experience that I've ever felt where I felt like time truly slowed down and my mind was just racing like a um, hundred miles a minute uh, was when I was at a bar with a friend and he asked to kiss me. <laughs> No, that's what triggered your bullet time. Dialogue <laughs> <laughs> options pop up. <laughs> I went, I went into fight or flight mode where it's just a like, where are the exits? How many people are near me? If I oh, run, God. what would the thing be? I will not, I will not go into detail okay, how it ended. I will not go into detail. I will not go uh. into detail how it ended. But I was just like hundred. I was just like what, 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 what? Hmm? What a question. <laughs> Can I? So yes, I'm sure you. that you remain <laughs> close friends to this day, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I no. believe you just want to make up. I don't know. I haven't really had any near-death experiences, though. Have you? So. This reminds me of a different thing that uh, we were talking about bicycle stuff earlier. And there was this, – this relates back to the steel pipe on the ground too. Raz, have you ever seen the video of the guy in like the hood who makes a video about the penetrator? No, I haven't. Maybe I have So pretty much he rigs a fake bike seat with a hydraulic – Thing. I don't like this. I don't and like this story. He, it's, oh, I like no, the, yeah. It's made for bike thieves. Essentially, yeah. He leaves okay, he okay. leaves a bait bike yeah. out on the street, but the way the seat works is as soon as you sit on it, the seat will collapse mm. down and the pipe underneath the seat will shoot up. Mm -hmm. And this guy's recording it from his phone. Mm -hmm. He's just sitting there and he's he's just laughing. I was like, <laughs> Was that on that that justice porn uh I saw it on yeah, Live Justice League. Porn I saw it on Live it. League. Okay. But it's probably yeah. Justice Porn. It has to be. That, anyway, that sounds like right up their alley. He's, he's just sitting here giggling. Right up he's their like, alley? <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's laughing out loud. Yeah. And then you see some dude come up. Just you know, He's walking by a little casually, acting like, oh, hey, I guess I left my bike here. Uh -huh. And then he just sits down. And as soon as he sits down, he immediately <laughs> jumps back up. And the guy filming just goes, penetrator. Penetrator. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's just. It's just two more minutes of him watching guys try to steal the bike, sitting on the pipe, and then he yells uh, penetrator every time they sit down. I love that <laughs> See, the, way the, too much. The problem with that nowadays, people will be like, like defending these thieves, you know, and they're like, wow, you're endangering these thieves. I'm like, don't, no, it's shouldn't have been bike. stealing his bike. It's, I don't know. It's not your bike. I feel like a lot of people would enjoy that type of content. I'm just putting that out there. <laughs> Not only Raz, the justice you go build porn, dummy bikes, and <laughs> let's do it. There's the justice porn. Do element. do something for the people that steal Amazon boxes. Oh, that one. Oh, a, you haven't seen that? that yeah, yeah, there are, there's people who have done that. They made stink bombs. I'm, stink, I'm sure that stink that bombs already and glitter exists. bombs. You open it up, it makes a loud noise. It goes like, Whoop, and then it blows up glitter and stank mm. ass shit all over their living yes. room. Just there's literally we, liquid shit. We need to do more. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, shy of. You know, actual dangerous shit. I don't think you can do more than that worst smelling sewage stuff. That one's pretty okay. good. I enjoy the hell. In fact, after this, I might watch it again. That one's probably the best thing. It's like, because there's the level of they will have it in their car and it goes off when they try to unbox it. No. And then they just chuck it out the car. Then it fucks their car up, too. Yeah. There's that. Or the one that hits home the hardest is they bring it home. Their kids will open it up. <laughs> And they're like, what's happening, mom? 
<laughs> Wait, is there like a camera inside the yes. box also? Yeah. Oh. There's like, I think four or five different cameras like inside the giant box. And as soon uh. as you open it up, originally it was the dude and he puts in that Home Alone uh, line where it's like, Merry Christmas, you filthy animals. Okay. And it plays like the gunfire to scare uh. people. Oh, that's good. Because it was around Christmas time and yeah. the glitter. Hey, oh my God, so good. So describe this smelly, sticky stuff. Is this like getting sprayed by a skunk basically? It's really yeah, hard it's to get fart off. Spray. So. If I remember right, it's like it smells like raw sewage. It is like meant to make you actually vomit. It's yeah. so disgusting. It's and it's like, know. yeah, it's a thing that you use to like, I'm pretty sure you use it to like ward away animals and shit mm, like that. Mm. But okay. yeah, it's the <laughs> nastiest shit you could imagine. <laughs> Quality. Thresh likes smelly things. If he finds like something really smelly or dead in the yard, he'll want to rub himself on it. Well, it's because Thresh is half coyote. <laughs> He's a... <laughs> Whatever. He yeah, he loves me because I'm smelly. He takes my socks and he'll just run with them. Oh my oh god. god! He's a feet person. He is a feet, my man. <laughs> how, how goes your quest for a cat? Uh, trap. He actually relented and said that, bar with some very big stipulations that make it actually difficult for me to get the cat. What's I am allowed to get an old cat that doesn't scratch anything. Define That's really not possible. Define old. I don't. I, just I, young I, cat energy. I proposed two years. He said that's way too young. Okay, no, he's he's. So cool he wants it. like four years plus. That's crazy. No, he no, wants no, an no. old. It ass seems cat. very extreme. How to long me. do they don't, live for? Aren't they? Cats can live for over a decade. They uh, they chill out by two years though for they, sure. Yeah, yeah, same with like dogs are kind yeah. of like around three years. My parents told me that back before I was born, they had a cat named Ashley. And Ashley, they said, was the sweetest cat ever when it was just my two parents living together. Then when I was born, Ashley became both jealous and vicious. My mom <laughs> said that she had to always keep an eye out on Ashley because if she left me like sitting in the baby thing on the table or something, he would jump up there and slash me in the fucking face or some shit. <laughs> like he was mean as hell. And anytime I tried to interact with him, he would run away into this like basement boiler room shit. And Ashley lived to be 16 years old. So the good die young and evil lives forever, even in cats. You got to make sure you're looking out for these old ones because they're probably wicked as hell. That's a great lesson. <laughs> I had my sister was trying hard to get a cat. I love cats, but I never really want to make the effort because my parents, specifically my mother, hates it. She is so anti-animal. So yeah. my mom, born in the farmland. This is a good story. Okay, what do you got? Born in the farmland. Her fun was basically... Fucking with animals. So, like, uh, so, you wanna, you wanna, so I don't want to get too far. I, I'll, I won't get in there. I won't. Let's change the on that one a little bit, man. No. Let's messing, <laughs> messing with animals. This Anyways, trashing his own mom. Right oh, now. my Bro. God. That's not it. She's going to come like a fucking tomahawk missile all the way from Canada. To <laughs> She's going to kill me. Blast your ass. She's going to kill me. <laughs> Uh, but I will say the only fun she could have was <laughs> oh, my yeah. <laughs> so my mom was like very anti animals because she just thinks that they're wild and like you know have no birds. Oh uh, yeah. So she just <laughs> uh, she, <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> so good story, right? So like there's a another like a small <laughs> tidbit of like and my experience with this was like we saw a dog, like a young little yapper when I was um in junior high. <laughs> a little yapper? It's like <laughs> Just like okay. didn't have its owner. Just like probably owner is like, I don't know, blocked that way. I don't know. Saw my mom's like, arr, arr, arr. I guess what my mom did. She kicked that motherfucker. No. She kicked little puppy that dog. dog. Yes. Puppy dog. I, I don't like, like that. I was like, what are you doing? She's like, basically her justification was like, that's what I do in farmland. That's a wild dog. I'll <laughs> that's what you it. get. <laughs> like, Shouldn't have been it. yapping at me. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. So like, that's my mom's energy. So when we proposed the cat, she was very Ooh. against it. And when we brought in a cat, like my, my sister was like, you know what? I'll just adopt a cat. Uh, it'll be fine. Well, she, the, the cat will be adopted and will be trained. And it was right, but not trained for our house. Because mm. when he got into our house, that cat was freaking the fuck out. <laughs> and started to be like hiding under a b bed permanently, which was like, that's fine. We can deal with that, right? It's completely understandable. Destructive, just hiding. Okay. Exactly. That's all good. Until the cat, this is all while my mom was working. In one day, went into her closet, my mom's closet, pissed on the clothes. Oh, 
Well, that cat's dead, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, look. <laughs> thank God what happened was we went and returned that to the owner before she even arrived. So my mom, like, went to work without a cat, came back home without a cat, and all of her clothes were just in the washer. We were, like, rinsing it. Everyone was like, Mom, I'm sorry. This is never going to happen again. Blah, 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 blah. Just, like, everything. But then we actually did get a cat that was, like, a kitten. Um, my mom was still against it and was fighting tooth and nail of, like, basically she was doing the thing. You can get a cat, but... The litter can't. The litter box can't be here, 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 here. I was like, "Where the fuck can the litter box be?" <laughs> but then she started to play with the cat. Oh. Mm. And then she started to like the cat. It won her over. It won her over. She started loving the cat. Now the fat, the cat is fat, because she feeds that cat too much. She doesn't know how. Her sense of love is like, because she overfeeds everybody. The typical immigrant like parents are like, "Oh, you know, eat, 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 eat." Like to any like guests, she'll do that to the cat, and the cat is now fat. So. Maybe not the best thing, but at least she loves a cat. Happy ending to this story. My parents' yeah. cats are fatter than hell, too. My mom gives them ham, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> like, <laughs> she deserve it. Like, I mean, I don't know. So that was, that's hilarious. So thank God that was a success story. Okay, so I feel like what we have to do is we just have to show up to your apartment with a cat. I like think, a yeah, probably. Cat. I think this will win Travis over. I'm down. I would also accept. I'm not very picky. I, I was also considering dogs like that are medium sized that I could still hold. Define like a, medium size. Like he's yeah, he's that, large. that I can still hold. That I can pick up. Like a sheep. He's too big. No, he's too big. Like way, a sheep doge. Like a sheep. Like this. Like this big. Sheba would be great. Or like a korg. Korg. I'm, I'm also giving you good. a visual right now. I'm. I'm, I'm giving you a visual, visual right now. Ethan gets it. Any breed that's that size. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like there are some dogs that are like. Australian cattle dogs. So, Those uh, are you could pick them up, but you one shouldn't. of my friends has a Labradoodle. Mm -hmm. It's like the Those things are a Labrador ugly. fucked a poodle. You know, Those things are fucking good ugly. Mix. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, it's a good mix. They are not so ugly. ugly. It's like a teddy bear. Ugly. They're so ugly. Anything with like the weird little curly hair what? freaks me the fuck what out. What the that's kind of crazy. You have no, bad taste. No. You have bad taste. No. Yeah, dogs with like those weird curls just around. They're not weird. What the you, you and you and Raz us. have curly hair. Yeah, when my hair gets when my hair is poggy woggy long, it's curly as fuck. Curly, yeah, though. that's true. Your hair is not curly. That's true. My hair is. Yours isn't that curly. Are, what, what are you, are you drunk? This is some curls right, <laughs> curls right there. What? It's, the of it's, curls. it's poofy. <laughs> huh? It's poofy. That is true. It's a little cloud. I'm thinking about cutting this shit. <laughs> what happened? To you? Okay. What happened to the braids? Are you gonna try to go back to braids or no? We'll try to go back to it. Let's just say. A, I want to grow it out a little bit more. Well, I just said I want to cut it. So you can see there's the Dr. Jekyll <laughs> yeah, and Mr. So Hyde coming out. Ian, mm -hmm. Ian, yeah. as a connoisseur of different hairstyles, because sure. I've seen <laughs> you rock at least like I've had a few. three or four different ones with G4. What would you suggest to Raz to do with his hair? I'm, I'm open. Remember, he thought that a do-rag was a fashion statement. So. I did think this. Uh, you're looking for something low maintenance? Yeah. Cornrows is not going to be it. Ooh. It's high maintenance. Yeah, it is. It's a very, it's very high maintenance. Have you ever done any individuals like braids down? I haven't. No, I was thinking about it. It's less work. Yeah. Have you tried it? Yeah. I don't know how it looked. That's my biggest thing. I was like, I'd rock up to a show and I just like, I don't know what it would look like. Do I just come out? Look one way to find out, man. Yeah, let it rip. You just yolo it. I mean, if you, if, if you get there and you don't like it, just you know, the hair don't last that long. They don't like it. They're racist. Yeah. True. True. I got that going for me. <laughs> yeah. Do you think like the LCS or any broadcast is going to dress code you? Oh, hell no. They, I'm surprised they haven't said shit to me. I, I tweet too much dumb shit, but they have not said anything. They will only say things if it's, there's like one time where it's maybe over the line. Where I just like, <laughs> I may have said fuck I you. I don't tweet anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no, you should tweet. I just said fuck you to the LCS Twitter account. But that was like supposed <laughs> to be in jest. It was in jest, but there were people who were confused. So I can understand it. <laughs> what did that? What did the LCS account say? Oh, they were vibing with it. Like, look, the interactions no, were going No, what hard. caused you to say fuck you? Oh, so this was during a time in which I just like fucked up scheduling a tweet. Because like on broadcast, we were doing the whole schedule a tweet during a game, right? See what comes out. I Everyone has scheduled a tweet made sense like at the end of the game, like 30 minutes out. I scheduled a tweet three or seven days out because I just for, I just I scheduled tweet in the past. I just forgot. I didn't know that it was like was automatically set to seven days in the ahead. Yeah. So like I was like, fuck, I'm not going to cancel it. I'm going to let it rock. 
And then my, then the LCS official account, just a social media manager, was like, this man is like, he basically just making fun of the fact that I didn't know how to use Twitter. I was like, makes sense. But I, what my response to it was, check it. Check Twitter in 30 minutes because I scheduled a tweet 30 ah, minutes from then. That's good, that's good, that's good. <laughs> and the tweet was saying, fuck that's you. Good. So in context, See? that was great. That's, that's good. Yeah. That's good. I got in trouble. I got a stern talking to. All I did was I made like a joking tweet to X Smithy, yeah. good friend, where it was like, hey, yo, let me get them digits. Like yeah. very clearly a fucking joke. And I got in trouble because I was acting inappropriately with the players. You gotta stop being a, a fuck girl. I think that's the. <laughs> you gotta stop. Because if there was one girl just trolling for dick in the LCS, yeah, exactly. it was me. Clearly. <laughs> uh, so, so you gotta start talking to for that with like, Smithy. What about the big dick chant? And, and sorry. <laughs> Did they, they let that one go? They're like, ah, you know what? So, hey, so, times have changed. Man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So like, go wild. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't tell anyone that that was gonna happen before it happened. But honestly, and this is, I guess, a little bit of maybe I spent too much time at G four. I didn't think it was that bad, because uh -huh. you know the joke is big dick energy yeah. type thing, right? So big dickla. I do, I don't think people are really assuming that I'm saying the man has a big dick. I just mean like big dick energy. So I, I did get a talking to from one of the producers. They came in. They're like, they're like, hey, loved the moment with uh, you flowers and Isaac. But, you know, I, I got to be the bear of bad news. Uh, please don't say big dick on broadcast. <laughs> and then I got another message from another producer saying like, hey, hate to be the bearer of bad news. <laughs> but if you could please stay away from any extremely sexual humor, that would be great. And I'm like. I'm sorry, but I also heard that there was someone on CLG who got like really upset at saying Big Dickla, and I was like, why are they getting upset at saying Big Dickla? And apparently, someone on CLG thought that I was making a Dokla joke, oh, but I'm like, but I'm like, wait, that's wait, wait, such wait. a bro, are you reach like that, that kidding dude, me? Get the fuck out of esports. Get into boxing if you're gonna reach like that. Like that's bullshit. Right. Like, I mean, big dick. There's big dokes. Big dokes. Big dickla. Nah, I mean, that kind of makes but sense. But his name is literally dokla. Vikla. All we did was change yeah. the D. You made me just ne realize now that Dokla and Vikla are very similar in names. Vikla, that's like at least that it rhymes. It rhymes. That's well, that's both end with a cla. <laughs> that's, that's, yeah, that, that's it. There it is. There it is. Well, Dokla is a, Dokla so is does Dikla. So there. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> but yeah, so that that was I, that. Hearing that tilted me more than being told, "Please don't say Big Dikla on stream." And I was like, "Okay, that's fair. I won't say that." But the CLG reach, I was like, "That's just that's just insight into how people are always thinking about it from from their perspective. Yeah. It's just them. They're just thinking about." the clg and they're like how does this relate to me instead yeah. of the obvious you work for fly club fly quest yeah all right yeah. i'm done talking i can I'm, i've expired today I fly expired. Quest. <laughs> they work for fly quest, fly quest. <laughs> fly quest. Uh, i'm out how long do these things go <laughs> Vic, Vic Wolf from fly quest Vic is Wolf hitting from the fly quest. quitting the quitting <laughs> <laughs> no, but I got okay. three hours of sleep. It was better be a weekend for me. I That's know. true. That's true. And That's plus, fair. you have Super Week coming up right now too, mm. don't you? Oh, you're fucked this week. We do. We got Super Week. This is not. Up. This is not the best week. Are we week casting too. together? Let me look at the cast. Yeah, we got. We got three days. Is Isaac taking like a vacation or something? I don't think he's Isaac's only taking... on there for Thursday. Hold on, let me see. There's no this way... just in. Azale fired from LCS. Found out on find Caster's out. couch. Hold this on. is how we find out. Let me find this he's shit. He's about to find this shit. He's about to say. He's about to find it. Yeah. Gonna see it oh, all then there's the face. Oh, yeah, why they got the picture of you creeping on me as the email thing? <laughs> In the I email, like, okay. it's me creeping. Yeah, I like that. I like that's a that good, was good. That's a yeah, good yeah. Email. So, oh, you know what it is? Um, it's uh, he has a personal thing. I'll tell you about it after the show because I don't know if it's a, okay, if it's so a public is... thing or not. Yeah, he, he just has it, it's oh, nothing. Oh, actually, I remember. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's nothing. Yeah, yeah. Fired. <laughs> that's from no, the that's he, that that motion is Dead? not what Kobe. No, no. <laughs> you can't just do that motion. That's, this could mean anything. What is yeah. That Cocaine. Yeah, that's what. <laughs> oh, that's, does it yeah. actually mean cocaine? When I see somebody cocaine? tap their nose, that's what I think. But is that's not two. what it is with Azale. No one does two at once because you can't get any in then. You ever party with Charlie Sheen? You gotta have one <laughs> open and one closed. This if you're doing both, that's like. Blah, blah, blah. Oh yeah, you go. Azale <laughs> warming up. Tune in next week when the game. Goes if you cocaine. close both, then you're not getting any in. No, you're just warming up, getting loosey goosey. Oh, right? true. Oh, yeah, and then you go. Just put your whole face in the mound. Wait, everyone. 
Caster's Couch does not endorse doing drugs. Make sure you stay in school. Uh, whatever that other bullshit Ovli always says is. Uh, drugs are bad. Yeah. Drugs wait, wait, wait. Are bad. Especially too much drugs. Everyone do your cocaine nose. <laughs> cocaine nose. Everyone together. We See, close our nose to cocaine. That's def- oh, close, I get it. Everyone? Yeah, yeah, I get we it. do We're not condone cocaine in this household. You don't, we We're do could. We do condone, however, subscribing to the Caster's. Okay, I can't breathe. To the Caster's Couch Patreon, and you know what else you should do? You should follow Kobe on all of his social media, including his Twitch, where he sometimes. Oh wait, you know this last thing I want to talk about. Oh, motherfucker. Champions Q. Can we talk about that for a second? We tried to lower your expectations. That's why. I yeah. Can I let me let me get in here for a second? So basically, there was a huge Champions Q uh, kind of like event project that I wanted to do just around Champions Q. It was like a little bit of a stream. That would be sick. You were doing you were doing some Champions Q and popping off flowers. You were doing some Champions Q and popping off. I didn't. I don't know if you've touched it. Do. The funny thing is, I was literally getting everything set up to do Champions Q for myself. Then you brought up the idea, but I was like. I'm going to, oh, then. Yeah, so then, so I pitched this entire Champions Q concept with FlyQuest and stuff. I'm like, cool, let's get it off the ground. Uh, some stuff happened, so we couldn't do it the week earlier when there were some Champions Q games. The week, a couple days before when we're trying to set up this Champions Q stream, I find out that there hasn't been a single game of Champions Q being played in like the last three or four days. And I'm going like, what the actual fuck? I want to make content around the LCS. I want to make content around, like, you know, more of the players surrounding solo queue. There's no more duo queuing, so you don't have that fun aspect anymore. You want to see that high elo play. It's like, fuck, players throw me a fucking bone. Like, what? what's your take on yeah, players just not Europe playing? Well, they, they took Champions Q in Europe and they died also. If you want to do it, you have to get it at the beginning. Cause that, cause now also they're talking about their new <laughs> schedule where they have two scrim blocks and it ends super late, um, and yeah, there's it. That's a very deep rabbit hole because there's all bunch of different excuses and it's sad that it's not utilized as much as it could yeah. be. I, think the I wish it was utilized more because it is really good practice. Yeah, and it does solve uh, some of the issues that have plagued the region for a long time and um you know they've tried to adopt it in other regions as well but yeah sag smoge it's unfortunate i i think at the end one of the excuses that people used that was legitimate at the time is yeah we want a low ping environment right so we want to use champions queue and so now it's always these things have existed before champions queue where it's like a discord being created by multiple individuals like i remember one that was being done with the narrow there were people that did it before bjergsen was a big part of it in the past like they always wanted to hook it up, but there was always a reason for players not to play on it. Um, now I can understand the scheduling thing, but at the end of the day, I think people just want to like turn their bl- brain off, play solo queue in a low queue environment, like the queue times being lower. So it's like, I think a lot of the times players just don't, coming after scrims, want to invest time in more work. They see it as a game still. So yeah. And it's hard to organize the schedules of every pro player because everyone's on different sleep schedules. I think it would help a lot actually if the players association stepped back in and did another one of their surveys to get greater alignment from all the teams. So they, their, their actual schedules could be more close Yeah. because then you can get better practice and Q times is always a big issue because of that. Cause everyone's on different schedules. Yeah. People want different things. Some people want comms. Some people don't want to turn their brains off. Don't want comms. Some people complaining about the amateur players that are in, but then if you don't have the amateur players and the Q times get longer and then there's different role requirements and it's, yeah, it's, it's pretty unfortunate. It's a difficult, if it's a difficult situation that, like I said, also it, it kind of crashed in, in Europe too. But um, we're yeah. going to keep trying and keep working on it and keep providing the space. Yeah. And hopefully it gets used more. Hopefully. Yeah. That because like, you know, comment because for me, I think the one that's the biggest hurdle right now is the practice schedule. And I do like the point that you're talking about, about the players association stepping in, because even if the practice schedule that people have with the two blocks, mm-hmm. there's not alignment on that. Um, people, I think my general vibe on it is that the players, most players don't like it. And my understanding on it and when it was initially posed as a question was, it was like the question was very convoluted on whether people wanted to do the double blocks or just wanted to do that single five game block. So 
hopefully they can come to a conclusion uh because right now it seems like that's taking up a lot of people's time and making them not want to do it more i i was actually sad that team liquid did not do well this split because team liquid the whole thing was we're going to practice more than everyone else so they were going to do the two blocks they were going to sometimes do triple blocks and they were always grinding champions queue yeah. so if they had success and if they smashed it then we could point to that and say see look everybody has to do it everyone should do it but then they didn't so it's like did have some success damn it <laughs> they beat fly quest Oh my TSM be yeah. my quest. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but that was actually also going to be a bummer because we had, I'm not going to reveal what it was, but we had a little gimmick for if FlyQuest won that game against Liquid mm. where we had one of our players make a statement for Champions Q in the post game. Mm. So that's one thing that like fucking shattered my heart too because I was like, God damn it. I just want Champions Q to take off because I think that it is like a really easy avenue for content because seeing you two make content around it just on your streams gives kind of like that OG League of Legends esports mm -hmm. vibe where it takes me back to like the DSM invitationals yeah. or kind of like the early stuff that we would see in houses. Of, I know for you guys it was great, especially for the players. I really enjoyed like tuning into uh dokla revenge or literally yeah, anybody the player comms yeah. stuff and it made and it amazing using it to promote all the player streams because that's one of the biggest things that that we're missing from the the golden years yeah. of the lcs is yeah. all of the like sneaky i'm a cutie pie all these big streams that got connections with fans and players that's what we're losing like the biggest loss i thought from streaming for league of legends was the fact that duo q died in uh solo queue so we never really got that kind oh, of connection that's one thing we're adding to champions queue oh that would be so. beautiful that would be beautiful so that's another thing yep. too because like champions queue filled that so we got like basically streaming in league of legends now for higher end solo queue players and competitors were, was great again because you can hear comms from people and like a lot of it was early on was really fucking funny um so duo queue's back i'm engaged i want that hell yeah i'm fucking pumped for that um I know Kobe is tired, so we should probably do our little sign-off. And also, hey, if you are single, Kobe is now looking for a new partner. Don't uh, do that. Don't, don't do that. Nah, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> okay, okay. Don't like that. He's don't, okay, recovering. he doesn't He's like that. Recovering. He doesn't like that. <laughs> Kobe, is, Kobe is now looking for a new duo queue partner in League of Legends. Uh, still recovering. I'm a solo queue grinder. There it is. If you do a queue with someone, then well, you can only you can only do a queue to masters, anyways. True. Oh well, that's and also high. if you do a queue with someone, then people just say that you got carried. True. Fact. So Kobe is that. looking to carry someone. He doesn't want to look like they're being carried. <sighs> Hopefully a cat. Hopefully a cat. Yeah. yeah. Screw that. Screw what I said before. If you have a cat that needs a home, call Kobe. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Where else can people find you on all your stuff? Are you streaming right now? Twitch or? slash Kobe. Uh, and Is it actually just slash Kobe? It's just slash Kobe. I, I got just Kobe. I'm oh the my. most famous Kobe. Oh, my on God. Twitch. On Twitch. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, there's some other Kobe that just messes with my SEO. I don't even. Just... Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> um, and then esports Kobe on everything else. Nice. Cool. Oh, yeah. That was sick. You guys got anything else going on this week that you want to plug? No, it's just, I mean, Super Week kind of just takes super up all the time. Week. Super Week! Super Week! I know everyone's super oh, tired shit. with Super Week. It's on Wednesday. We do need to say that Yeah, a lot. it's on Wednesday. Yes. It ain't on Saturday. That's weird. It's on Wednesday. Wednesday. It's, it's on, on Wednesday. 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 So, because... Also, I will accept applications. Actually, you will, I changed my mind. For cats? Yeah, and, and partners. And partners. <laughs> and partners. Okay, all the partners. <laughs> well, send all the applications direction. through flowers, though. I'm throwing out, like, 75% so yeah, send of them. Send them all through flowers. Why? Oh, no, I, I'm, I'm going to screen them. That's fair. I'm, I'm yeah, going yeah. to have high standards here. That's fair. <laughs> well, All I'm saying is Kobe I got rejected. Actually, Kobe rejected one of my friends on a dating app after she said that she didn't want to do a hike. Bye. Bang! <laughs> <laughs>